it's not about having a positive mindset in golf. Everyone's just going to be positive. It's not, because if I say hit a perfect shot, it increases tension and I get stressed out, hit a bad shot. So my thing is, I cannot go long and I cannot go left. Because if I go long or left, I'm short-sighted. And one of the rules of scoring is breaking a rule is short-sighting yourself. So I'm not gonna play a risky shot and I'm not gonna short-side myself. So before I'm hitting this shot, I'm trying to calculate what the, what the miss is. I'm not trying to hit what the best shot is. And so if I look at the, the flag stick is right in the middle here of this cross, short right is where I can hit it. All right, what do we take from that hole, boys? What do we learn? Better to be in play. <laughs> yeah, better to be in play. But what did, what did we learn about that flag stick? Even though we only had a wedge in our hand or a sand wedge in our hand or a gap wedge, would you normally aim at that flag stick? Yeah. Yeah. And then as a pro, I wouldn't aim at that flag stick. Because my thing is, is if I tug it slightly left, I'm in the worst position possible. Whereas if I aim 10 yards right of it and I tug it left, I'm right next to the hole. And if I hit it dead straight, I've got a 30 foot birdie putt. Scott, what about for you? Um, it, it is not playing the flag stick, right? Play it yeah. where you can get it up, right? Yeah. Get it somewhere on the surface where you can putt. Yeah. Scott? Um, my biggest takeaway on that was to not get upset over hitting a really crappy drive. Yeah, shot, yeah. And to just make work exactly. on the next shot. So look, look on the back of the scorecard, right? And one of the things is holding on to bad shots. So that's a way to break a rule of scoring. I held onto a bad shot and then make a double there for no reason. Just pitch on and I missed the short putt, but no big deal. Yeah.